There has been another reshuffle. Ginny takes over a tough portfolio at a tough time. Uh, Andrew, what did you think about, you know, her performance? I thought you'd give her a really hard go. I did. <laughs> did. I did. You did very well. And I thought she equally held up. I mean, given yeah. that she's mm. only had the justice portfolio for a matter of days, she hasn't been in the police portfolio for that long. I thought she did um, give as, as good as she got. Um, I think... The public are obviously tired of hearing some of the responses. The problem for Labour is that they just aren't trusted on law and order. Going back to what you, Janet just said, there is an element of panic, um, I think, now when it comes to this issue and others. Um, we saw that play out last week with this, a rolling mall of, of law and order, consecutive law and order announcements. And I was watching that thinking, what, why, are you, why are you doing this? The public don't, and they're not listening to what you have to say mm. on this. They don't mm. trust you on law and order. You don't have equity here. Talk about something that you do. <laughs> yeah. Well, th this, is, this is interesting, isn't it? Because, um, you know, Ginny takes over and uh, that portfolio, but we don't have time. And actually, she doesn't have time, and nor does the, uh, the government to allow a kind of another reset. She has to hit the ground running and go straight headlong into that election campaign, doesn't she, Gareth? Yeah, it's a tough gig. You know, she comes in after a succession of ministers, a really mixed narrative on crime for the government. You know, they're now trying to be tough on crime because of the you know, very real community concern, but they, they're not talking about tough on the causes of crime. We're seeing mixed messages. You know, Calvin Davis recently, you know, talking about reducing the prison population, yet putting in place measures to increase sentencing and uh, aggregating, aggravating factors. So it's a narrative they haven't shape themselves and they're not really going to shape it over the next three months. Unfortunately the opposition has all the running on it. You know, as a progressive I'd love to see them really embrace that tough on the causes of crime because all of this is systemic, right? It comes out of what's happening in Ōrei and Tamariki, mm -hmm. it comes out of the abuse and stake here and it's not going to be fixed by simplistic solutions like boot camps. Um, what we do know, I mean I think to your point that you pressed her on in the interview about changes to the Sentencing Act, I think it's really important to remember that when we do make knee-jerk changes to law and order legislation it doesn't work. The big laws previously that were changed in response to a public campaign you know that that proved not to work it proved to be really problematic for the government so um janet what about this uh, this two hats that jenny's oh, wearing yeah. police and justice i have a real issue with that i think it's church and state and i think the the two portfolios are, are in some ways at odds with each other um that um, philosophically and and also um, in, in a jurisdiction kind of manner, they are absolutely at odds with each other. For, so for her to wear those two hats is is highly unusual in a government. Um, it, it's only um, clearly with less than three months to run to election. It's mm. a it's a temporary measure of some kind. But even so, I wouldn't have chosen Ginny, no matter how competent she is. Yeah, you know. and and she does have to, you know, wear those hats only for a short time. But it is an important time for them. Yeah.